All right, guys, now we're going to look at placing our stop at our break-even price after a different condition is met. So it makes this a little bit easier. The first thing I'm going to do is make this a long-only strategy. Uh, just for the sake of this video. So on this cross below condition, cross below the EMA, where normally we enter short, we're just going to make it exit long. So exit long position. Let's see how that looks on the chart. Since it's long only now, uh, let's go back to the um, let's do 10, 50, and we'll do 60 to 100. see what parameters it gives us and it's still giving us the 20 and the 80 you can see right here that we are long only let's look at the charts of ES okay so there's a lot of different ways um, different conditions you can set for when to put the stop at break-even for the video, what we're going to say is after 10 bars, if we're in the money, we're going to just going to put our stop at break even. Okay. So it's going to look at our entry. 10 bars after our entry, if we're in the money, we're going to put the stop at break even. So let's go back to the builder. I'm going to create another set. I'm going to say current market position equals long. Bar since entry is greater than 10. You have unrealized PL is greater then a zero. Cool. And now we need to create a variable that stores our break even price. So we'll just name it break even price. It needs to be a double because it does have a decimal. So in this condition, when we're long, it's greater than 10 bars after the entry, and we are in the money going to set our break-even price to our current position price. So we set our position price. And now we're going to set a stop order. So exit, exit long position by stop order. And on the stop price, we're going to set it as our variable. So let's go ahead and run it and make sure that it works. So let's go ahead and go back to the back test page, change it to 20 and 80. And let's see if it works. Okay. There's a gap here on the price. Let's go to a different example. But I mean, yeah, you can see it's working now. So we enter, it counts 10 bars. And if we're in the money, it places the stop at break even. So either the break-even is going to get us out or a crossover. 
and we can see that adding the break even uh, significantly improved the results. So cool. I will see you guys in the next one.